Conducting sensitive online research means venturing into corners of the web that could expose you and your organization to malicious content, reputational damage, and even bad actor retribution. What we're going to demonstrate is how Silo for Research masks your identity and intent with a global managed research network, eliminates your browser-based attack surface through full web isolation, and decreases time to insight by providing one-click access to a purpose-built research platform. Now we're at the start page for entering Silo for Research. I have one-click access to points of presence around the world, including the dark web, and this demo environment is just a small subset of the global research network that Authenticate provides. When I launch a node, I will access the internet locally in that region as if I were physically located there. I'm connecting to a node in Western Europe and it's building a single use virtual container and initiating a remote browser session in the cloud where all web code is executed. This provides me with full isolation from web-borne threats, and it ensures that none of my historical or personal web activity is linked to the research or the investigation. Now, as you can see, Silo for Research is a very familiar browsing experience. I can open multiple tabs, visit websites, forums, marketplaces, and as you'll recall, we selected Western Europe, so Google's presenting to me as if I'm located there. We can set and manage bookmarks and access browser functionality such as developer tools. This is the Silo Navigation Toolbar. It provides you quick access to an integrated suite of Silo for Research collection and analysis tools, such as screenshot and annotation, multi-site search functionality, and out-of-band translation. We'll dive deeper into these features in other demos. As we mentioned, Silo for Research provides anonymity to protect your organization's identity and intent. Every browser session enables you to access the web in region from a non-attributable IP address. So let's do that. Let's check how my current IP address and location appear in Google when I'm accessing from my existing browser and not Silo for Research. You can see that my IP address ends in 74 and that it's physically locating me in the San Francisco Bay Area. Now I'm gonna go to Google and see what my IP address is within Silo for Research. Now it ends in 18 and Google is physically locating me in Western Europe. In addition to masking your true IP address with one locally, Authenticate's managed research network also matches your language and time zone setting appropriate to that geography. It also provides you the functionality to manage your anonymity, and it does so by empowering you to manipulate your digital fingerprint. You can do this by spoofing the operating system, browser type, device type, and the device screen parameters. All of this is useful for blending in with the crowd and to ensure that websites present me with the information that I'm looking for because they do so based on who they think that I am. Using my digital fingerprint as an analyst, I don't want to be blocked from evidence, potentially presented with modified information, or have my research results diluted. In the end, using Silo for research, I can take comfort that all of my online activities in the platform are secure and anonymous and backed up by an audit trail for compliance purposes. If you want to learn more about these features, be sure to check out our product tour or visit Authenticate.com.